Oh, yes, certainly. Lizzie will be very happy indeed. Everyone out. Mr. Collins would like a private audience with your sister. No, wait, please. I beg you, Mr. Collins can have nothing to say to me that anybody need not hear. No nonsense, Lizzie. I desire you will stay where you are. Everyone else to the drawing room. Mr. Bennett? But... Now? Jane. 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 Dear Miss Elizabeth, I'm sure my attentions have been too marked to be mistaken. Almost as soon as I entered the house, I singled you out as the companion of my future life. <clears throat> but before I am run away with my feelings, perhaps I may state my reasons for marrying. Firstly, that it is the duty of a clergyman to set the example of matrimony in his parish. Secondly, that I am convinced it will add greatly to my happiness. And thirdly, that it is at the urging of my esteemed patroness, Lady Catherine, that I select a wife. My object in coming to Longbourn was to choose such a one from among Mr. Bennet's daughters, for I am to inherit the estate, and such an alliance will surely suit everyone. And now, Nothing remains but for me to assure you in the most animated language of the violence of my affection. Mr. Collins! And that no reproach on the subject of fortune will cross my lips once we're married. You are too hasty, sir. You forget that I have given no answer. I must add that Lady Catherine will thoroughly approve when I speak to her of your modesty, economy, and other amiable qualities. Sir, I am honoured by your proposal, but I regret that I must decline it. I know... Ladies don't seek to seem too easy. Mr. Collins, I am perfectly serious. You could not make me happy, and I'm convinced I'm the last woman in the world who could make you happy. I flatter myself, cousin, that your refusal is merely a natural delicacy. Besides, you should take into account that despite your manifold attractions, it's by no means certain that another offer of marriage may ever be made to you. Mr. Collins. So I must conclude that you simply seek to increase my love by suspense. Sir. According to the usual practice of elegant females. Sir. I am not the sort of female to torment a respectable man. Please understand me, I cannot accept you. <laughs> Headstrong, foolish child. Don't worry, Mr. Collins. We'll have this little hiccup dealt with immediately. Mr. Collins. Hmm? Mr. Collins has proposed to Lizzie, but she vows she will not have him. And now the danger is Mr. Collins may not have Lizzie. <laughs> what, what am I to do? Well, come and talk to her. <laughs> 